ladies and gents, this is the moment you've waited for. Welcome to the show! Let me introduce you to four of the finest crowd members of Lord Bakeyship. Mags, your navigator. Jack, your quartermaster. Iggy, the executive chef. And Cleese, head of surveillance. You'll be referring to them for most of the treasure hunt. Questions, demands, whatever you need. You'll have a better chance of getting it out of them than out of me. Your goal is to find as many map pieces as you can. How you manage to get them doesn't matter to me. Whoever has the most by the end gets a part of whatever the Star Vault has to offer. I'll be briefing you today on the planets in the sector that may contain relic fragments. First on this list is Yistrel Ma, the only life-bearing planet in the binary system Iraqis. Yistrel Ma has an extremely oxygen-rich atmosphere. That's a good thing for most of you. If not for the stronger ozone layer, you'd be burnt to a crisp before touchdown. The relic you're looking for on this planet is rumored to be located somewhere on the surface. Given that the planet is 86% water, the most likely explanation is that it is floating somewhere, hidden within a landmass, or Yistra Amlaku. Additionally, the hyperoxygenated atmosphere has led to trending gigantism on the planet. You'll notice this vis-a-vis -vis the widespread megafauna. Lastly, Iggy promised a handsome reward to all contestants who can bring him back anything that looks tasty. They're gorgeous, aren't they? The... the stars? <laughs> yeah, of course. So, where do we start, Captain? Whether it's because the Stardancer crew doesn't know, or because they'd rather not do it themselves, it's left up to us to find the relic. We can narrow our search by just checking the land masses, but that still leaves 14% of a very large area. The Pleco scanners would take hours to scan a dwarf, the other competitors probably have state-of-the-art technology, and we can tell at a glance that at least some of it is illegal. There's no way we'll be able to find it before them. Hmm... But say we modulated to a lower frequency and... BORROWED everyone else's signals to create a relay network! You can do that? Plug in my map piece and I'll give it a shot! Well, let's try it then. This... this is amazing! I never knew the scanners could be pushed that hard. Nothing but the best from me! How did you manage to get this much detail? You could say this particular subject resonates with me. Wait, why are there so many predictions around the water region? Well, they're not actually predictions. These are more like clues to the big picture. The energy signatures these relics give off are erratic. They generate false readings all the time, but there's a pattern. You are lucky to have me, because the secret is so dumb, it's going to take a while for most other people to figure it out. We're in the Testudines galaxy, right? So according to the officiated intergalactic star chart... Right there, the sun with the most stellar mass. That's where we'll find it. You're right. That is dumb. Dumb, but ten fins of leverage over everybody else. So our star relic's probably on that Imlaku over there, right? I'm running a quick scan on the area to make sure the crew wasn't lying, and that the relic isn't actually below the surface. Good call. Man, this place reminds me of home. We had a lot of ocean planets, just like this one. So the relic's definitely closer to the surface. Wait a tick, is that smoke? That's definitely smoke. Yeesh. The bandit ship. 
reflective nanoshields, and three layers of polycarbonate ceramics. And it's been shot clean through. Brr, we should probably get out of here then. Right, Nia? Nia? Nia, we should probably- It's a compressed antimatter fuel canister! Wait, holy crap, aren't those expensive? Forget the porphyrin accelerators, I'll make a whole porphyrin set after this. You meatbag! Sorry. <laughs> Scavenger rules, buddy. Whoever first to find the wreck gets prime of pickings to the deck. The last time I heard that phrase was two centuries ago. Ha, <laughs> so you're old, too. I'm sorry, she didn't mean all that. I don't want any trouble. I'll give you the canister. You're just gonna hand it over like that? You do see what he did to that ship. With much more armor than ours? You can keep the canister. If there was one, I'm sure there's more. I would rather fix problems, not be the cause of them. Okay. Thank you. I bet he's got a relic. You're right. I don't know why else another scrapper would be out here in pirate space searching a soaked planet for parts. think he's trying to kill us! If he blasts our engines, we're stranded here anyway! Can this thing even lose him underwater? The Clico has a wide pressure scale. I built it to specialize in underwater and deep space scavenging. But it has no weapons or shields. I had to choose between that and a warp drive. Huh, <laughs> sweet Asteria, Nia, you really did need that canister! We're hit! All systems intact. We seem to be fine. All we have to do is lose him. Perfect way to lose HAL 3000, though. And hey, wait, check it. The relic's gotta be in there somehow. We've got a monstro this. Fine. I've never seen a digestive tract like this before. How many times you been eaten, girl? No, I mean... This looks more like a cardiac system. See all those branching paths? But its blood is just the water? It isn't even circulating. I don't think there's a biologist alive who can make sense of this thing. Good for us, anyway. I'm going to try to use that signature from earlier and combine it with our radar. Can you man it? Here we are. It's not beating. The relic is connected to the IMLAC. It's functioning as an alternate life source. So if we take the relic... There's a good chance it'll die. What kind of person thought this was a good idea? We've got to figure out a way to save it.
We don't have long to. Listen, I don't want to fight a fellow boss. Allow me to take the relic and you won't come to any harm. The pirate crew has my back against the wall. I need that relic. The dancers got all our backs against the wall. We all need the relics for the same reason. You do the same. Unheard of goal? What? Directive? What are you, missing a family member? Do they have your real ship locked away? I'm trying to contact someone important. And that's more important than finding out what I am? What I was built for? And what about the snake? This thing is heavier than the Pleco. That vessel's not made for high-pressure environments. Well, that makes two of us out of our element here. I'm not meant for piloting an entire ship myself. Get out of the law free! Aw, oh, I'm sorry. Is this pretty piece of metal important to you? I'd give it a good old gun test, but I wouldn't want to hurt the poor I'm Laku. <laughs> So, what's next, Captain? Is there anything on that ship that could help you operate the relic out? One open heart surgery coming up. What? No, no, stop! That's a cannon! Your ship's interface makes it look like a tractor beam, Tin Can. The Lawfrey is my ship. I'm the only one that can operate it without risk. I can provide a method of fixing the I'm Laku's heart. You expect us to believe that? You see it too, right? Take out the power cell, relic, without giving the machine time to adjust, and the Anlaku's entire system ceases to function. Well, think of something. I've already thought of something. All you need to do is replace the relic with a comparable fuel source. The antimatter fuel canister? But without a capacitor to regulate the output, we'd fry the Anlak, and it'll die anyway. If you connect it to your ship, you can monitor its output until the I'm like who is programmed, weaned off the magic. That could take cycles. And we don't have that kind of time. So, I'm guessing that since you're a robot, you don't need to eat or sleep. So you could keep up monitoring indefinitely. Yes, so why couldn't you do it? I'm not a robot. You're, you're a not a bag? robot? <sighs> the point is... Well, I know you can see the point. We got a bit lucky there. Just a little bit. He could have killed us ten times over the firepower that ship was packing. But he didn't shoot inside the Imlac. And he tracked us instead of blowing us out of the sky. Well, at least we know he probably won't pop the I'm Laku as soon as we break Atmo. And I mean, he's probably fine. I doubt any of the other contestants that find him would care once they figure out the relic's gone. And once the I'm Laku's back in commission, he'll be able to find his way out. Hopefully. Eventually. I hope he finds what he was looking for. And that he doesn't get in trouble. Hmm. You're too good, Nia. I hope you find another super expensive fuel canister. Don't remind me. Well, either way. 
At least we're out of trouble for now. Wait, you really aren't a robot? <sighs>